Hey people, how are you doing? I am hanging out in my test world. You can see it has no resemblance at all with my playing world. As well, I just opened a, a novel disk. You can see it extends underground even when before there was nothing. And I am I have been experimenting with the different uh, situations i'm trying to i tried to saturate this area with uh, a lot of bees you can see this great tree still doesn't grow and i've made this little contraption to solve the quiet tomb of course it could be much more useful where i to have three cobblestone in it. Anyway, of course, uh, a small problem this has is that, oops, that uh, I don't uh, remember how to. Well, I could instead of this, I could use simply a logistic pipe. Let me see, it was the provider or the... I believe it was the provider, was it? Nope. The request, no. It was the one with a cross, a supplier, that's it. Okay, <clears throat> let's see if this one works. Let's tell it to always keep one stack of paper. Oops. Uh, of course, we should place a provider logistic pipes in here. Okay. Yeah, perfect. And we could do the same thing here with uh, using instead of uh, a logistic chassis with two structure modules, we could place here a provider pipe. But uh, there is a small adjustment we can do to this system. We break this and this. We break this in here. And let me get that uh, module in there. Okay, we are going to delete this, make this a default root, uh, place the logistic uh, pipe in there, and the chest in here. So we place all the cobblestone in here, and we place this in here. So this way we are going to pr uh, be providing two cobblestone every five seconds. To, the ins to this uh, section of the quasitum, and we're going to have a steady supply of paper on top. Also, each time something is produced, something is discovered, it will be sent here. So, for example, let's say... Oh, of course, how can we introduce something here to test it? Well. Believe it or not, you can introduce items inside. Oh, well, we can use regular one. And obsidian transport pipe was it? Let's look for a discovery. No, no, it's irrelevant. Okay, you can see it's in here, and it's now theoretically. It should be taken out. Should be. Mm, but it is not being taken out. Default route, of course. There we go. So we have a um, perfectly half-automatic quasitum. How can we make it automatic? 
well, we can use uh, equivalent exchange with the, let me see, the collectors and the energy condensers in order to produce the different uh, materials. For example, we can place, instead of this uh, chest in here, we can break it, place uh, one of these, place paper in here and in there. Well, of course, it's going to... Oh, we have a small problem, and thankfully, it's been solved. Uh, let me see if we can place this on top. Oh, it's raining. Okay, uh, let me see if now we can keep things civilized up there. Nope, we cannot. Okay, for some reason it likes to take items from the target slot first. Hmm. However, in, I have in the basement here some different options, which means we can use instead... Uh, here we can see a block of diamonds is being produced, it is not being taken out, so I suppose we should uh, be using a two-pronged attack in there. So what I'm going to do here is to place a normal chest in here. I am going to place this one in here, which is going to produce paper, and I'm going to surround it with this uh, fellas in here. Considering the, the cost, it's well, this is exceedingly overkill. Let's get some structure modules. Uh, some chassis. Let's use Mark III this time. And some normal pipes. We're going to need uh, stone transport and basic logistic. And we're going to need the branch, of course. Okay, so how is this going to work? We're going to place the logistic chassis in here, on top. We're going to place the basic, logist basic logistic pipe in there. Oh, sh kneeling doesn't work with the uh, chest, sadly. But we can do this. And now we get the wrench, set this as a default route. And we place here three extractor modules, so we're going to get uh, to extract. Yep. See? Let's uh, replace this so we make sure it is not broken. And. Okay, I suppose we should replace this one too. No. Nope. Okay, and let's see. Ah, there it is, working. Perfect. So now we have it uh, working as intended. We see this paper is not being taken. It is producing, and we can substitute this uh, cobblestone provider with a similar version, just using instead of um, instead of cobblestone, we could be using bookshelves. And there it is. It's mostly an uh, OC. Fragment of tainted knowledge. This is, would be an automatic uh, investigation stance. You don't even need Mark III to make the this work. You could use simply, I suppose, Mark I energy collectors. 
let's see how good are they and there you go and completely automatic investigation system for yeah more than enough for some craft <coughs> you of course can also surround this uh, quest tomb with uh, what you prefer like bookshelves or if you have already find them a brain in a jars Yes, I know I place uh, a little badly that uh, that one. And there we go. S but uh, you can move this a little farther away, for example, in here instead. So it wouldn't be a problem. Anyway, that's an automatic system. Oh, and if you want to see how good uh, does the brain in a jar helps research, let's see. Fast enough? So that's mostly it. Uh, I have a small contraption down here. You can see I have um, condensing condensers of different um, EMCs into a single point. Uh, I have some growing crystals. If you want to start your own uh, a farm, you need uh, this bis ores or fury ores or ocus ores etc you craft by nine of the same time being condensed you will get only one back but the trick for this is to use the Ar crystalline veil the crystalline veil is something you need to research and when you right click it will only give you one of the target crystals so you see it's a great way of having a, a farm of your own which will produce slowly, oh very slowly, crystals for your use. I also have here an automated feeding machine, so to speak. You can see it's fairly simple, a timer on a 8 seconds interval, a lever, uh, <coughs> one of red power, two lights to indicate uh, the lever is on, a chest full of coal. Yep. Four arcane velos, and here we have the thelmic furnace, which is currently off because there are redstone currents going around. But uh, when it is not on, I mean, uh, when there is no current and the velos are on, sorry, the um, thelmic furnace are on. It will boost a lot this, well, this one, not this one, because this is, uh, this is just a research version of the um, Crucible. This is, to be precise, a uh, Thomium Crucible, which uh, won't overfill ever, which is good for testing purposes. I have here all the time condensed and being dispersed into the air and here I have this dark infuser which requires also the uh, taint to work and bees. I have his, here a huge reserve of bees connected to the infuser which you can see works quite fast. Let's see if uh, this also works with the other version here. I doubt it will, but well, it was worth a try, wasn't it? I suppose the Dark Infuser has its own uh, recipes. 
And these depleted crystals uh, are used with the thomic crystallizer. Let's place it in here, for example. We place them in the middle, and they will be slowly charged into some uh, random crystal. Uh, you should also know that uh, that will drain the local aura. If you look uh, in the lower left corner of the screen, you can see the V's by a value is uh, being reduced because of that. In the meantime, however, we can... Uh, what else? I don't really know what this, what this one is. Atomic generator. Hmm. Seems like he can't be connected to a piping system. Yep, it's doing something. Uh, eating. Is it, is it eating this? I don't know. It's taking this inside to know why. Let's wait and see. Okay, nearly finished. Let's see what's going on. Mm, nope. Oh, of course, I for I completely forgot. Uh, sorry. The Thomy generator, I believe, it's uh, something that works in par with industrial craft and build craft machines. Let's check this. For example, like so. Yep. See, now the electric furnace is working as intended while taking some Vs from the generator. Okay, that's, uh, that's essentially it. Hmm. <laughs> Well, thanks for for watching this video. I hope you got some good ideas. I'm I'm happy if this helps you. And uh, I hope this uh, won't be nervous or it will work a little better in the future because right now it's really awful. You could use Sneaky Pipes, which is another mod by Kraft, the guy who made the Logistic Pipes mod, uh, because you can program uh, where are they going to insert or extract items, but I don't know if you can make them insert uh, different items and at different places. So in, uh, anyway, you would be in, still needing at least three points of entry. So whoops for that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that would be uh, an interesting update. A uh, uh, sneaky pipe that lets you introduce different items through different sides of the target block. Anyway, this uh, I'm Sagrot. I'm singing out of this test world, and thanks for watching the video. Hope to see you again and in my in my let's play series. Bye.